So in this video, I want to uh, show you how to use um, some pieces of free software for Windows uh, to record the screen and capture screencasts, and even to draw on the screen and zoom in and out of the screen. So over here, we have uh, two pieces of software. One's called Zoomit, um, and one is called Hypercam. Uh, Zoomit is a piece of software that I like using for drawing on the screen or zooming in and out of the screen. Um, it's fairly easy to configure and fairly easy to use. And Hypercam is a really nice piece of software that I like using to record what's happening on the screen. Uh, you can select parts of the screen to record and it'll record them into a video file for you. So first up, uh, Zoomit. So Zoomit um, is a free piece of software um, and using it you can uh, do various things. So for example, Zoom. Uh, so if you press Control 1, you can zoom in and out of the screen. Um, you can also do what's called a live zoom and I'll show you that as well. And again, the activation um, sequence for that is uh, Control 4. Uh, you can change these as well if you want to. And uh, I also like using uh, drawing, which is uh, control two. And you can see all the different settings here. Um, tells you about the different colors and different shapes that you can draw using this piece of software. Okay, so to start it up, uh, you essentially just uh, click OK once the settings are confirmed. And let me just show you uh, control one. So say, for example, uh, we want to zoom in on this area here. And so I can press control one on the keyboard and then that will essentially zoom in on that. And I can move my mouse in order to focus on different parts. Of the, uh, of the screen. I press escape to get out of it. In order to do a live zoom, I press control four. In control four, here what we have is I have my cursor still showing, and so I can still point to various things and drag things around and press various things on the screen as I need to. Now, if I want to draw on the screen, I press control two, and over here I start with a cursor, and so what I can do now is uh, using my tablet or anything, I can uh, draw on the screen here and say, you know, well, this should go down here or something if I'm reviewing something. And so you basically record uh, your drawings. And you can change colors by pressing a few various, uh, various keys on your keyboard. Uh, you can even draw shapes, like lines and arrows and rectangles and things like that. Okay, so in order to actually record what you're drawing on the screen and what, record what you're showing on the screen, uh, that's what Hypercam is for. So with Hypercam, uh, the window looks a bit like this. And first of all, you have to select uh, what region you would like to record. And so here, let's, uh, for example, record um, this area here, which is just our document window. Okay. And so we'll just drag that and then click to confirm. And what it's done, it's updated the uh, XY coordinates of the start and the finish uh, rectangle. Next thing what you could do is um, specify where the uh, actual uh, file is saved. So for example, I'm saving it to my folder here. Uh, I can specify how many frames per second. 12 is normally quite good for an online screencast. If you need more live action, uh, up, to, up this to maybe 25, 30 frames per second. The video compressor, uh, normally I stick with uh, video one. Um, if you have other com uh, codecs that you can use for compression, you can select those too. I find Microsoft Video One, even though it produces really big files, um, these files can be compressed later on by YouTube anyway. So it's, um, it's not, 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 not a big problem. What you can also select here is uh, sound, and so you can tell it to record sound from a microphone, for example, or from your computer. Um, and if you want to set any other options, for example, whether or not to record your cursor, uh, you can do this from this screen as well. Okay, so once you're ready to record uh, using Hypercam, all you really need to do is uh, press Start Recording. And this will essentially flash or show this rectangle. And this rectangle is basically where the recording is, is, is occurring. And so anything that you draw, anything you do in this rectangle currently, will actually be recorded. And so I can draw, I can do various things, like I can zoom. And anything inside that rectangle will be what the recording picks up. So if I want to pause or stop recording, I can use these buttons here. And so let's stop the recording. And here you have the uh, total frames we recorded and there's no frame skip, which is a good thing. To actually access your file, let's come back here to the AVI uh, file tab and open the output folder. And what we have over here is uh, the recording that was just um, recorded. And so if we start up that recording, you can essentially see that that is the, uh, the screen that was recorded and you can see me scrolling. And also you can see if I go forward a bit, uh, the zooming happening. Over here, you should also be able to see the drawing. So what I would do with this video file is I'd upload it to YouTube. Uh, if you have a collection of different video files, you can upload them all to YouTube and then use YouTube to uh, edit and piece together these, um, these videos.